hi guys welcome back to the channel uh happy birthday to my dad in this video we are going to be ranking taylor swift's album lover i know i'm kind of late for this it's been like almost a month since it's been out but i listened to all the songs enough to finally get like a good enough ranking to what i like and yeah i'm gonna go through them now so to start off the list number 18 is Cornelia Street. I rent a place on Cornelia Street. I say casually. Uh, I don't know why people like this song so much. Uh, it's speculated to be about Carly Clola. So yeah, her old friend Carly it's supposed to be about, but I'm not sure about how accurate that is. But, um, I wouldn't put it past Taylor because Selena and Taylor are my OTP. The song is just not that good and I... It's the only song that, on the album that I don't listen to. The only song. So the rest of them are good. It's just this song I don't like. Number 17, You Need to Calm Down. Like, hey, are you okay? This song needs to calm down because it's a mess and I just don't like it. I mean, I like it, but it was her worst single that she released and it's just all over the place. I do like the beat to it, especially at the beginning. But the lyrics are really cringe, and I don't know if it's supposed to be cringe, but it is. Number 16, I think he knows. It's like I'm 17, nobody understands. No one understands. So my friends like this song, but it's meh to me. Like, it's good, but like, a lot of the songs are better. Number 15, Afterglow. Fighting with a true love. Boxing with no gloves. Uh, this song is, um, about her after a breakup that she kind of, like, regrets doing. And she's basically admitting that everything was, like, her fault, the reason why I ended and stuff. And it's a pretty different song from Taylor. Instead of talking about the other person doing her wrong, she talks about how it was her fault. And it sounds like typical Taylor, like, her pop, like, 1989 Taylor... And it's nice, so yeah. Number 14, Paper Rings. When the album first came out, I really liked this song, and I was like, ooh, this is in my top 10. But the more that I listened to the album, and I got like more of a feel to the songs that I like and don't like, uh, Paper Rings just fell through the list. Like... It's nice to listen to, but it's, you can't like replay it like the other ones. So it kind of lost some of its magic to me. So yeah, that's why it's lower now. Number 13, me featuring Brendan Urie. Girl, there ain't no INT. So this was a pretty good song. Uh, wasn't the best. Um, I'm really mad that they took out the spelling is fun lyric. That really makes me mad. But what can you do? Brendan Urie has a better part than Taylor Swift in her own song, which is weird. The song isn't bad, so it's, you know, enjoyable. Number 12 is Death by a Thousand Cuts. But if the story's over, why am I still writing pages? So, the song she wrote basically while watching a movie and the person who like wrote the book to the movie was the same to Taylor Swift's album so it's really like weird but I do like the song um especially the chorus the I get drunk but it's not enough like I just love that part and it's a pretty good song number 11 is daylight I don't want to look at anything So this is a song that closes out the album. Um, at first, I wasn't really into it, but the more I listened to it, it was okay. Not top 10 worthy, but it was pretty good. And I don't like the end though, when she's like talking. I think she should have ended it at the song part, but the talking part is like meh. So now we're into the top 10. I'm excited. <sighs> Number 10 is Lover. Can I go? This is the song that the whole, like, album is 
based on the whole like theme. Uh, the music video was different, not what I was expecting, but I do like the song. It's like me and my relationship, except more like cute. And Taylor just uh, releases bops, and this is one of them. Number nine is London Boy. Something happened. I heard him laughing. I saw the dimples first, and then I heard the accent. My friends hate this song. They think it's the worst on the album, but it's not that bad. It's pretty catchy. Um, a reactor on YouTube that I watched said it sounded like 21 Pilots, which is a shirt that I'm wearing right now. But to me, it does not sound like 21 Pilots. I don't get a 21 Pilots vibe at all. It's just a catchy song, and yeah. Number eight, I Forgot You Existed. It isn't love, it isn't hate, it's just indifference. Oh, yeah. This song is kind of like um, playful and just like sassy and I like it and it reminds me of like people that I have had fallings outs with. Oh my god, I can't talk. You put all your time and effort and then just one day you like forget about them and you're like, oh, you're still alive. <laughs> Number seven, the man. If I was out flashing my dollars, I'd be a bitch, not a father. So when I first heard the song, I didn't like it. But the more I heard it, and I heard that kind of like electric beat, I liked it. And like Becky Lynch from WWE should use this as her entrance music, just saying. Number six, Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. My team is losing, battered and bruising. I see the high fives between the bad guys. This song sounds more darker, like the tone and the beat, until the end, and like I like that. This was like more like Reputation Taylor, and that's one of my favorite albums from her, so it was nice that she included something like that in here. Number five, it's nice to have a friend. Wanna hang out, yeah, sounds like fun. Video games, you pass me a note. Another song that reminds me of me and my relationship. Um, it's like cute and they start off as like friends which Taylor doesn't have many of them as you know and then their friendship kind of like just evolves into a relationship and the song ends with them like getting married and it's cute I mean I don't ever want to get married but I'm saying <laughs> the rest of the song is like me and my relationship number four false god he might just get away with it. I didn't like this song either when it first came out. The beat was just like off to me. And then the more that I listened to it and like the lyrics, I really like the lyrics and the way the song flows and it sounds really nice. All of the religious imagery is kind of cool and Taylor just slays. Number three, Cruel Summer. Devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes, and if I bleed you'll be the last to know. So when I'm feeling depressed, this is what I like to listen to. It's uh, kind of, I want to say edgy, but there's a lot of like um, edgier lyrics in this song than the others. And uh, basically it's like about a relationship that she was in where the guy like only wanted to use her for like sexual reasons and she was not about that. So it ended up not working out and it was a cruel summer for her. Number two. The Archer. And I hate my reflection for years and years. This song is like really uh vulnerable to her and I really like it. Um it's basically about how like everything in her life goes wrong and it's a really relatable song, but it's also sweet in a way and I like it. So the number one song is Soon You'll Get Better featuring the Dixie Chicks. I just pretend it isn't real. I'll paint the kitchen neon. I'll brighten up the sky. I don't know who the Dixie Chicks are, but this song is really good. Uh, apparently, it's about her mom who has cancer, which I didn't even know that. But she wrote this song about her mom, and it's kind of like really depressing. And uh, it's apparently hard for her to sing. I don't think she's going to sing it on tour, she said. And it's like really emotional. 
and that's why it's one of my favorites. It's like one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Not like my favorite of all time, but it's like one of them. It's a really nice song and I love it. Alright guys, that was my ranking of Lover. Uh, comment down below your rankings and the songs that you like from it. I recommend listening to all these songs, even Cornelia Street, even though I don't like it. But yeah, happy birthday again, Dad, and thanks for watching this video. Bye. I think he knows he better lock it down or I won't stick around.